Why would anyone try to catch a 70 meter tall rocket booster the size of a skyscraper with a pair of steel arms instead of letting it land on solid ground? It sounds like science fiction, right? But SpaceX just did it. The super heavy booster came roaring back from the edge of space, flipped, slowed, and landed perfectly into the waiting arms of Mechazilla. Today, we're diving deep into why SpaceX built Mechazilla, how it achieved centimeter level accuracy, and what this jaw-dropping feat means for the future of space travel. Stick around till the end because the secret behind this precision might just change how every rocket on Earth lands in the future. Welcome back to The Rocketry, where we break down the latest in spaceflight, rocketry, and SpaceX innovation. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss the next chapter of humanity's journey to Mars. All right, let's rewind and unpack the most daring catch in aerospace history. Every rocket ever built had one big problem. Gravity wants it back. After stage separation, boosters crash back to Earth at supersonic speeds. SpaceX's Falcon 9 changed that forever by doing what seemed impossible, landing upright on drone ships in the middle of the ocean. But even that miracle wasn't enough for Starship's massive first stage, the Super Heavy Booster. This thing stands 70 meters tall, weighs over 3,600 tons, and produces 16 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. Landing it on a concrete pad like Falcon 9? Too risky. The exhaust alone could melt the pad and destroy nearby systems. So SpaceX asked a question only they would dare to ask. What if we don't land it? What if we catch it? Again, we're gonna and that's how the legend of Mechazilla began. Mechazilla isn't just a tower. It's a robotic skyscraper, part launch mount, part service arm, and part recovery system. It stands around 146 meters tall, equipped with two enormous steel arms that open and close like a giant mechanical claw. These arms are connected to hydraulic actuators and rail systems that can move with millisecond precision. Their mission? To catch the Super Heavy as it descends from space, without letting it touch the ground. This eliminates the need for landing legs, massive landing pads, and long recovery operations. If the booster can be caught, refueled, and relaunched within hours, Starship becomes the first truly reusable orbital rocket system ever built. So how do you catch a flying skyscraper that's falling at hundreds of kilometers per hour? It starts with guidance and control. The Super Heavy uses a combination of GPS, inertial measurement units, radar altimeters, and onboard AI to continuously track its position relative to Mechazilla's tower. When the booster re-enters the atmosphere, grid fins made of titanium steer it aerodynamically like giant wings. They make small corrections, sometimes just a few centimeters at a time, to line it up with the launch tower. As it approaches the landing zone, the booster performs its final flip maneuver and reignites its central cluster of Raptor engines. These engines throttle down to just about 10% thrust, giving SpaceX micro-control over its descent speed. Meanwhile, Mechazilla's sensors, including LiDAR, thermal cameras, and laser rangefinders, are actively tracking the booster's position. Both systems communicate through Starlink-based low-latency telemetry, syncing in real time with delays of less than 50 milliseconds. And then, in a perfectly choreographed dance, the chopsticks move inward. The booster's catch points, the reinforced sections near the top, slot neatly between the arms. At that moment, the engines shut down and gravity gives up. The arms absorb the remaining kinetic energy, holding the booster mid-air, a breathtaking blend of power, precision, and timing. But the real magic isn't just in the mechanics. It's in the predictive modeling and control algorithms. Before every flight, SpaceX's simulation systems run millions of predictive landing paths, adjusting for variables like wind shear, atmospheric density, engine performance variations, and tower of lex. By the time the booster is falling through the sky, the onboard computer already knows how to compensate for every gust and wobble. This isn't just autopilot, it's machine learning applied to rocketry. Every flight teaches the algorithm a little more, making each landing sharper than the last. That's why this recent catch wasn't luck, it was data-driven perfection. Now let's relive that moment. 
After stage separation, Booster 10 executed its boost back burn, re-entered over the Gulf of Mexico, and began its controlled descent. Spectators watched as it lined up with the launch tower. For a brief moment, it looked off course. Then, with a viral pulse of Raptor engines, it steadied. The arms of Megazilla slid inward in perfect synchronization, and for the first time in history, a rocket booster the size of a building was caught midair. No touchdown shock, no landing pad damage, just pure precision. The booster was then lowered onto the launch mount, ready to be refueled. In theory, that same booster could fly again within a single day. This catch marks the beginning of a new era in reusability. SpaceX is chasing what Elon Musk calls airplane-like turnaround. You land, you refuel, you go again. That's the key to making Starship economically viable for Mars missions, lunar cargo runs, and even point-to-point -point travel here on Earth. Each successful Mechazilla catch doesn't just save hardware, it saves millions of dollars and months of preparation. The more reusable the system becomes, the cheaper space access gets for everyone. NASA, private companies, and eventually, everyday explorers. But here's the twist. Mechazil might not stop with boosters. SpaceX plans to eventually catch the Starship upper stage itself, completing the full cycle of mid-air recovery. Imagine this, two 100-ton stages, both caught and relaunched within hours. That's not just a milestone, that's a revolution in launch engineering. If today's Mechazilla catch blew your mind, wait until you see what comes next. In our next video, we'll break down how SpaceX plans to refuel Starship in orbit, a move that could make Mars colonization a reality. So if you love spaceflight as much as we do, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and drop a comment below. Would you trust a robot tower to catch a falling rocket? This is your host from the channel, bringing you closer to the edge of the possible. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.